advanced technology like uh, predictive analytics can give a much clearer picture of the risk, for the risk manager of their risk and how to prioritize capital for risk improvement. Uh, by identifying equipment uh, needed repair, location predisposed to losses, uh, now risk managers have a much better vision of the risk and which risk can impact their business soon or later. So they can really priori prioritize risk. Today, all the processes, all the systems are supervised with a data system, with real-time uh, information exchange. By monitoring this data, this flow of data, risk manager can have a very precise view of the risk at the moment and can detect deficiency before they create a loss. So it helps them to priorit prioritize risk improvement. For example, at FM Global, every year we develop a list of 1,000 locations which represent 1% of the location we visit on a yearly basis and consistently year after year this one percent of location represents 25 to 30 percent of the losses that our clients have to suffer so if you are a risk manager and you have one of this one of your location within this list you know that you have to act quickly on this location it's an example of how the new technology predictive analytics can help risk managers to priority, prioritize their risk First of all, flood by itself is not preventable. The loss from flood are preventable. 95% of the location uh, exposed to uh, who suffer flood losses were pre previously identified as flood exposed. Either they were they suffered a loss in the past, or they are spotted on a map in a on a flood map within a flood zone. So the first thing is to understand that our location is exposed to flood. After when a location is exposed to flood, there are really two types of uh, physical improvements that we can achieve. The first one is to build permanent uh, flood protection in order to maintain the water out of the location. The second type of uh, uh, risk improvements that can be achieved is to identify the critical equipment at a location and to elevate them above the flood level of the location in order to minimize the impact of the flood. Once this is done, there is a need also to put in place an emergency response flood, which has two main, uh, two main uh, aspects. The first one is to have a warning system in order to uh, kick off the emergency response flood when a certain safety level which has been determined is reached. And the second one is to have a list of authorized people uh, with a clear list of action to be taken before, during and after the loss. In short, in conclusion, a loss, uh, a flood loss needs to be understood at the side level how the flood will impact the location and it has to be taken into account with the whole organization in order to put in place the best response to, uh, to, to mitigate the impact of the flood and minimize the physical impact and the business impact on the location. Seven in ten financial executives of the world's largest company believe that they will, uh, in case of a, fire, uh, a cyber attack, uh, their insurance program will cover all or most of the, of the effect of the cyber attack. Unfortunately, this is wrong. Uh, insurance is a very important part of the risk management equation, but does not answer to all the risk a company has to, ad has to address. For example, reputational risk like loss of market share, loss, loss of growth opportunity, unfortunately are not covered today. And they can have a big major impact on the company. So this is why FM Global is so keen to helping their clients to understand and to prevent cyber risk.
Nowadays, di digitalization is everywhere and change the way we, pro we make everything from the simple, the simple uh, food product to the most complex uh, service that the economy and the, 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 the countries has, has to provide. And this, uh, uh, this digitalization is, uh, is very open because to be effective, you need to have real-time exchange of information between engineers, plant managers, uh, building security equipments. And this is a new entry game for the cyber criminals. So what to do with and how to manage this risk? At FM Global, we take a very engineering approach of cyber security and uh, to understand the risk and to develop solutions to prevent the risk. Uh, we have developed a risk, a cyber risk assessment tool which uh, identifies addressable uh, exposure in the information security ar arena, in the operating uh, technology arena, but also in the industrial control systems. And by doing so, we can provide a very, uh, a, a very accurate and practical recommendation to risk manager in order to address the cyber risk. As a conclusion, to, to manage cyber, we need to have a global view of cyber. It means that risk manager, plant manager, information specialist, operating specialist have to sit together, have to talk together in order to address the risk together and to get a holistic view of this risk in order to develop a relevant risk improvement plan for cyber.